Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, Kevin Naki here for another episode of the IPL Top 5 Plays. This week, our plays come to us from the GSL, the IPL, and Assembly. Let's go ahead and kick things off with number five. And another target fire on those banelings. Still a lot of Marines out here. July needs to be very careful. Oh, July, you are going to take a lot of damage to your mutas here. Yes, rolling through. The banelings are popping out right now. July's just going to oh, go man. for it. That's a huge group of tanks, though. And these Ultras are all clumped up. We'll see if they can spread far enough to start crushing through this army. They have killed a good number of tanks. More Ultras slowly filtering in. The Marine King, oh, he was on siege there for a while, but the oh, units went away. Wow. Great target fire on the Banelings. They're no going to kidding. do almost no damage at all. And the Ultras, despite the fact that they kill the tanks, just get torn to shreds. GG G -G is called. And here at number four, we have Millennium Stefano going up against Evil Genius's Puma. And look at the way he utilizes Fungal to pin down the maximum possible units, thus allowing the Ultras to have a brilliant engagement. That force from Puma would not stand a chance, but Stefano was not done. No siree with his Fungals. Here comes another round hitting a ton more bio units. This would actually seal the game for him. He would eventually take a 3-0 victory in the set. Side of the vision. Stargate goes down and Genius goes back to his roots. Looks like we're going to have a Void Ray rush. He's such he an important sees it. moment. All right, so wow. he knows it's coming. He should be able to hold this now no matter what. This is actually so interesting because Alive scouted and he's dealing with him very well. But Genius is the best Void Ray 3 Gator in the world for Protoss. He's done it more than anyone at a higher level, killed more nerds with it. All right, Here we go. to the front and oh, there's a wow. force field on the ramp. Huge is this force actually going there. to work? The SCDs are doing a pretty damn good job of repairing. The Voidways are not charged up, but when they are, the bunker will go down. Oh my god, and, and it goes down. These SCDs are going to have to get out of there. Ah, they're going to die to so many of the Zal hits, but he is pushing him back. Some more sentries are in, and Genius just has to keep these Void Rays charged. He may be able to take this out. Nice micro pulling back one of the Void Rays. And, and the other one gets oh away. Oh my god, sick oh Void Ray my god. Oh, oh my god, I can't believe you did that. Sickest nerd chills all over my body. I cannot believe I, the micro there of genius. I completely agree with you there. But I mean, at this point, he has so much. There it doesn't matter. GG. Wow. Genius crushing face with his signature build. And at number two, we have Startail Bomber going up against Marine King Prime. And Marine King Prime had a huge advantage in this game, up four bases to two. But Bomber somehow found a way to claw his way back into this game. Brilliant multitasking being displayed here, attacking the production, an army outside of his natural, and one of the ancillary expansions in the top left-hand corner of the map. He would crush Marine King's army and would move on to complete the comeback and stop the four-kill rampage from Marine King Prime. Gumiho is actually going double command center behind two barracks with constant marine production. 11 roaches on the way. Oh, 12. man. Ooh, Gumiho doesn't make bunkers. 12 roaches plus speedling follow-ups against zero tech and just a bunch of marines. And, okay, now he sees the roaches. And now Gumiho's oh. going to be scared. And, oh, I love this. Notice his marines going the other direction. He says, all right, you want to do this? I am going to counterattack you and see if I can bring you home. And here he goes. <laughs> no emotions. He has no emotions going up there with those roaches targeting down this first barracks. The Marines are not coming in from behind here. Banelings are morphing also. But oh, they may man. be intercepted by these Marines. Oh, my God. That's a lot of Banelings that he is actually going to kill off. He's killed off a ton of them. And finally, they are up. And did oh, go man. Kumio do this correctly? I think, I think this is it. Oh, yeah. I don't think there's any way that Kumio can recover from this situation. And, well, he has a siege tank, but yeah, how do you actually recover from here? Already DRG hugely ahead on supply. That's Even with the SCDs here, it's like you can still get inside. Yeah, he simply cannot repair quick enough against this. What? 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 There you okay, go. never mind. Oh, nice siege tank fire right there. And holding those SCVs there. Oh, a beautiful repair as well. Gumio dealing with this as best as anyone in the world possibly could. Is he going to hold this? He, well, he's not going to die right this second. Yeah, Look at this ooh, intelligence. What is this? He is going to push from the high ground. Oh, I really, 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 really like this. Well, this is one of the best games I've ever seen. This is insanity, Look, man. He's targeting each individual ultra. And Gumiho's dropping even more places Guys, during all there this. there are drops. That's it. GG. Oh, we didn't. Gumiho. It's actually that good. All right, guys, that wraps up this episode of the IPL Top 5 Plays. Don't forget to pick up your tickets for IPL 4 over at tickets.ign.com. This is Kevin Naki here for the IGM Pro League, signing out.